Bam, ba -dam, ba -dam. Guys, Crypto Athena is here. What's the crack? So I'm just here on Henry Street. Do me Christmas shopping. It's my uh, my yearly trip to town. I only like to go in here once a year. It's all I can handle it. And I'm in today. And uh, I'm not even going into the shop. So my in there doing it. <laughs> I'm outside. But um, this video is just to let you know that it's just Matt. What's happening at the moment is, because you can see this stuff on chain, that the outflows of Bitcoin being bought up is four times greater than the Bitcoin supply, than the Bitcoin that's being created. So there's four times the amount of Bitcoin leaving the exchanges than there is Bitcoin being mined every day. So that's why I say to you, it's just math. Do you know what I mean? You can't put a round peg in a square hole. <laughs> you can keep trying. All right, so eventually what's gonna happen is exchanges run out of their inventory of Bitcoin, the number goes up. That's why it's a number go up technology. So just a quick little update. Over the last month, things have been boring, which is, in my experience, that's been the best time to dollar cost average and to take positions um, in Bitcoin. Is in the boring times, when people stop talking about it, when people lose faith, when people think it's going lower, when people get bored of it. That's when the money's made. The people who are able to understand the asset and understand that it's just maths, okay and there's only one question you have to ask yourself in the future will more people or less people want to own bitcoin and when i ask myself that question the answer is more much more people are going to want to own it and that's why i buy up as much as i can today and a dollar cost average every week every time i get my wages a portion of it goes into bitcoin because i think in the future more people are going to want to own this thing and remember it's fixed supply money all other monies aren't fixed supply they're elastic so we can always create more, but we can't create more Bitcoin. That's why it's so valuable. And that's why I buy it every week. Anyway, that's the story, that's the news. Remember daily exercise, hit the like button. Don't get scammed out of your crypto. Um, someone sent me a message today to ask me, was it me talking to them on social media? And it wasn't me talking to them because uh, I never reach out to anyone to ask you, how's your crypto doing or anything like that. So guys, don't fall for that stuff. Block anyone who does that. And um, look after yourselves. Have a good Christmas. I'm doing me shopping. And um, yeah, so four times the amount of Bitcoin is leaving exchanges than is being created. So there's going to be what's called a supply shock. Now it takes a little bit of time for the supply shock to actually happen. Because, um, you know, exchanges, they have an inventory. They have, they have basically Bitcoin on the shelves. But eventually the shelves start to run out. The shelves start to get a bit light. And then the number's got to go up. Okay? Because everyone's got a price. Bitcoin's always got a price. Someone's always going to sell it. That price mightn't be at 50k, it might be at 100k. And in time it mightn't be for 200k, and in time it mightn't be for 500k, and in time it mightn't be for a million. Because the scarcity just increases and increases and increases. And that's why it's probably the best piece of property that any of us can own today. And why it's very, very cheap today. Anyway, hope you got some value out of that. Keep stacking. I look forward to chatting to you soon. I have bought nothing at the moment. <laughs> so, uh, gonna have to get a... Uh, Get shopping, there's a spire up there if you can see it. It's kind of hazy here. Anyway, better go in here and have a wander around. Guys, have a good uh, day. Dinny out.